now coming to the pathology as the bubble reaches the vein okay your flow of blood in the vein is altered this is the tail end and this is the head end the forward flow is decreased and there is an obstruction of flow and the clot formation occurs at the clot end this bubble formation slowly increases and forms what is called a taylor bubble and here you can see the platelet fibrin wbc and rbc getting accumulated now looking at the junction between the bubble and the endothelial cells if you look here here the endothelial which was oxygenated now becomes blue this is called the blue endothelial cells and ischemic penumbra happens with the endothelial cells and here you can see the fibrin clot formation happening and the blood flow is sluggish here and the forward flow there is going to be reduced blood flow if you look further at the level of endothelial cells there is a release of heparin sulfate which is a part of larger proteoglycan which is called syndicans then what happens is a connection between the emboli and endothelial cells happens and there is a mechano sensory response and your complementary and inflammatory mediators also will be activated and there is a thrombo inflammation in the venous system now what happens when the venous air embolism gets into the right atrium through the superior and the inferior vena cava it passes via tricuspid valve into the right ventricle from the right ventricle it goes and obstructs the pulmonary artery if this right ventricle is obstructed your pulmonary blood flow will be halted and there is going to be right ventricular dysfunction and smaller bubbles may obstruct pulmonary capillaries also leading to pulmonary vasoconstriction obstruction as well as capillary leak this is the usual course what is a retrograde venous embolism here the bubble that stays in the venous circulation may proceed retrograde instead of coming from i svc to ra it goes retrogradely towards the cerebral venous system because the patient is remaining in a sitting position and the head is above the heart and the buoyancy of the bubble can overcome the slow antigrade flow instead of the vein flowing antigrade the bubble flows retrograde into the cerebral circulation and larger bubbles are more buoyant than the smaller bubble so if there is a larger bubble they are more likely experience retrograde flow and cause a venous cerebral air embolism which is really really bad this cerebral embolism can lead to mental status changes seizure focal neurologic deficit and shock